Hi everybody. Uh, today I'm going to demo for you the Pinking Hearts Corner Punch and the Pinking Hearts Border Punch from Stampin' Up. Okay, these are really fun punches. I really enjoy them a lot. And they've got really, really tiny, tiny parts. So I'm going to give you a couple of tips. When you're punching your paper, if your paper sticks in the punch, I don't know, let me see if I can get one to stick here. My luck, it won't stick this time, but if you happen to have one stick in your punch and it won't come out like this, just tap it. Tap it lightly. Don't pull, because of course if you pull, you're going to tear your paper. Okay. Also, I found that when I'm making one of these little borders, if you try to do one really thin on one side like this, the problem is once you get your corner punch in here, there's no room left to use your border punch as you can see. Um, you know you can't you can't match it up. So I'm finding that you can't get too skinny a piece this way. You have to use a little bit wider, at least wide enough to accommodate the teeth on your border punch. Okay? Now you can get rectangle, you can go long, but at least make sure it's it's yay wide. And I'm finding that for me anyway is the easiest way that I found to do it. If there's somebody else out there who can, you know, make it smaller, that's great. But I found that if you don't do that, you're going to mess up your little corner heart there. You're going to double punch it, and it, it doesn't double punch really well. So anyway, that's what I have found. So let's get started. I'm going to start with my piece of very vanilla cardstock. Now, I did not measure this. This is just a piece out of my scrap uh, file. Okay. I'm going to start with my corner punch. And I'm going to turn it over. Now make sure these punches do lock. So make sure you unlock it first. Okay, or else it won't work, obviously. I'm going to take my paper and I'm going to put it into my punch. And I'm going to line it up with the corner. Now as you can see, if, if you mess around, it'll float in here. Just like that, really. What you, you don't want that. You want to carefully line it up into your corner. Just like that. And punch. Okay, now as you can see it didn't let go, so just tap it and it will let go. Okay, you don't need to throw it on the ground or anything like that, just give it a tap. Okay, and it will let go. Don't pull again. Okay, so I've got my first corner. Very pretty. Okay, I'm going to take my border punch and using my border punch right side up, I'm going to match this corner right here to my little um, indexing right here on my punch. Okay, so I'm going to slide it in and I'm going to slide it all the way till it gets to that stop. Um, I like to put it in all the way because sometimes if you don't put it in all the way your paper can do this or it can do this and before you know it you're crooked and you don't get a nice squared piece. Okay, so I put it in, match it up and I put it all the way into the stop and then punch. Okay, if it doesn't let go, again, just tap your punch, and there you have it. Got my first little line here. Now, I'm going to come down my, my other side. Okay, I'm going to put the punch in, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to line up these two hearts with the last two hearts that I punched. You can't line it up with this heart because that's your corner heart and it goes in a different direction. So you can't line it up there. You line it up with these two and line it up with the last two that you punched. Now, here's the other little tip here. When you get to this point, up in here, you want to make sure this is level. Because again, if it's not, you're either going to go this way a little bit or this way a little bit. And again, you're not going to get it squared. So just make sure it's level. Just kind of eyeball it. Make sure it's level. And punch. Tap, it won't let go. And there you've got your second corner. Okay. Again, with my border punch, I'm going to come up in here, line this corner up with my indexing on my punch. Again, pushing it all the way in. kind of hard to see. I'm not in my studio because my husband's got my studio this morning and I don't have a lot of light. Uh, hopefully you guys can see this. I'm just trying to line it up here and make sure it's straight and everything. Good punch! 
And there you have it. Now I've come around another corner. Again, I'm going to take my corner punch, slide it in here, and do the same thing. Line up those two last hearts with the two hearts I just punched, making sure your, your card stock is level up here on this straight line here. And just make sure it's level. And I'm actually faster at this. I'm going slow so I can show you guys, but tap it so it won't let go. Okay? Ah, we're rounding the bases here. Okay? Now, as you can see, I have an arrow. Isn't that kind of cool? But now, as you can see, I've got a lot of this excess cardstock in the way. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissor, and right here, I'm just going to cut it off. And that's so I can get my punch in there. Just like that, okay? And again, taking my border punch, I'm going to line that up, just like that, all the way to the stop. Paper goes all the way to the stop. And punch. Okay, now we have just one more side to go. So again, because I've got this excess paper here, I'm just going to snip that off too, get rid of that. Okay, corner punch again. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to line it up with my last two, making sure my lines are even. Now, if you get little pieces of paper stuck in here and you can't see, just poke them with a little straight pin. And kind of blow on it like that and your excess will blow out. Boy, what a mess I'm making, huh? Anyway, come in here, line up your last two. Again, making sure your lines in here are straight and are even so your punch goes straight. Okay, take your time. You don't have to rush. There's no rush. And punch. Okay, now we're down to this. And as you can see, all we have is a little bit of space in here. Now, it is the length of my punch. Okay, here's a little more debris. So what I'm going to do is put it in here, and I'm going to line up my hearts on either side so that they line up. Okay, just, just put them in here and all the way to the stop again. Remember, go all the way to that stop so that they line up. and punch. And there you have it. There you go. Now see, it's not really difficult to do. It's just a little time consuming, but if you have patience, you can do it. There's the other one. See? So, you know, I hope this video helps. Um, like I said, I didn't read the instructions. Here, so you can see them. Let's get rid of this. I didn't read the instructions on how to do it officially, so I'm hoping that um, I'm hoping that you know I'm doing it right. But of course, it works for me. Um, somebody else out there might have a different way of doing it, and um, that's about it. So anyway, I hope this helps, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.